Ready to succeed. Raid Shadow Legends. Uh, I'm tan. I'm tan now. I'm tan and better than you, Edition. <laughs> uh, we went to the beach yesterday. First time I've been to the beach in a couple of years. It was pretty nice. Pretty nice, man. And we got, I think, the exact right amount of sun, to be honest. There's a couple of spots on me that are a little tender, but, like, for the most part, we were out there for the perfect amount of time. Worked out. Uh, all right, two things. One, there is a stream that I do every week, and it's at Friday. It's on Fridays at 8 p.m. Central, and we do um, a lot of, like, viewer-based games. So we play a lot of Jackbox and stuff and i do giveaways give away vo the void packs and gem packs and stuff so mark those on your calendar twitch.tv slash jgigs go follow me there to catch those those happen every friday at 8 p.m central this week there will also be one at th on thursday at 8 p.m central and i'm going to be playing uh, eternal evolution that game i've been telling you guys about so if you're not familiar with what i'm talking about i'll card to a video up there where i kind of show it to you guys here on this channel if you want more content on it, I'm going to link to my second channel down below where I'm putting out guides and, and gameplay and, and, and things of that nature. There will be a bit more coming out this week, too. I've got a beginner guide in the works. I've got a couple of champ guides I plan to do. So if you're looking for content on that game before it drops on November 9th, uh, go, go follow me on that channel. There's also a link below if you haven't pre-registered yet. Make sure you do that. That link works for iOS and Apple. If you click it in a browser, it's going to default you to Apple. But if you click that link on a mobile device and pre-register, you're good to go. It doesn't matter if you're on Android or Apple, okay? It's good for both platforms, even though it looks like it's an Apple link. It's good for both platforms, okay? So just go pre-register with that link, and uh, and you'll you'll get your pre-registration goodie. So uh, that's it. Be there Thursday at 8 p.m. if you're interested in seeing me stream the, the, the new game. Make sure you pre-register if you haven't. And then Fridays, 8 p.m. Central, unless I say otherwise. Um plan for those to be happening and those are those are fun we had a really good time this last week so um, be there be in the streams don't piss me off okay all right let's talk about what we've been doing over here we have been going pretty hard in the champ training we're up to uh, almost twenty one thousand points now in our in our tournament mission here and we have made a good bit of food we have quite a few oh you need to be unlocked you need to be unlocked I've been making five-star food and just throwing some brews in them for the points. But we can five-star two champs right now. So that's pretty cool. Still not really sure who I would want to do. I, I, I kind of want to save some for uh for, for Ucko. Or however you say it. <laughs> um, and then, I don't know, I kind of wanted to play around with your Carl. The, the thing is, I don't want to grab them yet. I want to wait until there's a champ training that I want to do or a, a champ chase rather that I want to do and just pop off you know what I mean like that'll that'll make the next fusion I want to do so easy so I kind of want to let them sit to be honest um so yeah I don't know I don't know about that we, we're I'm kind of just keeping food on hand at the moment right now uh 3v3 has been going really well for us haven't done any in the last couple of days. I was kind of busy yesterday, obviously, but we've we've more than done our 10. We're still sitting in the green. Battle, how's the defense been doing? Defense, eh. I mean, we're getting some wins. We're sneaking some win in there. Attacks, I haven't done any in a couple of days, so. Let me check real quick. That's my team one. Yeah, my team two is going to be an easy... My team two is going to be easy to counter. I'm going to have to work on that. My team one performs really well. My team one has only lost two. And both of them had Seafy, which is to be expected. If you have a Seafy, especially Seafy and a Rotos, and you're manualing, um, you can probably deal with that, right? With that first team, which is fine. That's understandable. But they win a lot of their other fights. So my team one's fine. Team three, I'm not sure. I reckon it's probably a little bit easier to counter my team three on manual. It's my, my team three is probably a better offense than a defense. Uh, so we, we've got we've still got some things to do before we can really just fully automate this. But whatever, either way, it's going well. We, we can we can 
there's a lot more fights we can pick now and win and uh, I don't have to really pay much attention to it so again we have work to do so let's let's look at our roster actually and see <clears throat> also I'll show you this too it's only November 7th and the shards are piling up quickly dude and then we've got a few of these too that's pretty cool I'm gonna try to sort it out where I can get in and farm a little bit of a uh, little bit of iron twins so let's look around and see if there's anyone we would want to six star particularly anyone that's going to be really helpful in iron twins or give me more options for 3v3 arena I do see Bone Knight in there a bit, but I just feel like there's so much AoE. I feel like building Bone Knight for a defense. He has been a pain for me a couple of times because I'll AoE and then single target. Like, like there was a team where he was on the team with Duchess and I AoE'd and I killed everyone except Duchess and him. Duchess was stunned, so she didn't get to revive that time. And then I tried, I was, I was just cleaving it. And then I tried to A2 Duchess to get her out of the fight so she couldn't revive. Because I forgot about Bone Knight. And then his passive prop. Because that was the first AoE I had done. And he absorbed it, and then she got to revive, and then we got dealt with. So, I guess paired with a, with the Duchess, I mean, for that very specific reason, he could be good on a defense. But, I don't know. Didn't I build... Hmm, Shiramani. Interesting. So yeah, I don't know. Part of me's wanted to build a darker lane for a while to uh go after Tormund teams. But that's more of just kind of for fun. Um No one jumps out at me though, like you build this champ, you six star this champ, you've got yourself a team. You know what I mean? No one's jumping out at me like that. Or arena anyway. So I almost want to six star him. Oh. I was gonna say I want to six star him so he'll uh do better in Doom Tower. I must have pulled gear off him recently though. We still, hang on a minute. I changed my team. Is he still on it? Yeah, he was still on the team and they still beat that. <laughs> it took him a minute, but like, <laughs> I, was, I remember thinking too, the first run, but before I put Vogue off it, my old team, I used to have someone else here and they died really quick. And I also noticed the preset wasn't there, and I was like, "Some, I guess the preset got messed up." So I, I put Vogoth in, and then I redid the preset, and they beat it on the first try. It didn't even—I didn't even clock that that mage was uh, was not geared anymore. And still, like, fine. Wow. Okay. So we'll we'll fill in his gear. Who did I give his gear to? Who did I put in a shield set? You have a ring on. Why? Why actually why? I don't why don't you have a ring on? Here, have that. Let's see who else is in gear that I'm using. Oh yeah, I meant to come back and give him a banner because I gave someone else his banners. Man, we tripping, dude. We out here straight tripping. I think you can have this one. No 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 no. There was there was one with speed on it. You gotta have a little bit more speed than that. Maybe not. That one it is, I reckon. Speed and attack, that'll be fun. There, that's better. I think I gave Kimmy his banner recently. Iggy, it doesn't matter. Drock, I'm not using, it doesn't matter. Not right now, anyway. <clears throat> So no one that I'm I'm using really actively is missing anything anymore, I don't think. Okay. 
So yeah, I think I'm gonna, I guess I'm gonna just keep making food. There's no one that I'm dying a six star in my roster right now. Is there anyone in the vault maybe? No. Yeah, there's no one that I'm dying a six star right now. So I reckon I'll just keep making food. Maybe I'll get maybe I'll get a few sets of six star food. Man, I used to really like to do this. I used to like to keep like to keep a set or two of six star food in the vault for like emergencies if I pulled someone that I immediately wanted to six star or something like that. Uh, so maybe I'll just I'll, I'll keep getting food made and have some on hand. And then uh, I, I I would like to think after the big summon session we do at the beginning of December or whenever there's a good summon event after November, uh, we're gonna get something new that we want to build. So. That's the hope, but we'll see. I reckon we'll have a good bit of food on hand. So yeah, there you go. Now we're all caught up. So I think what I'll do is continue to make food, try to farm some iron twins, and um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how things go from there. That's it. I'm getting out of here. Short episode today. Appreciate y'all. We're going. Later.